Here, the Knoxville real estate market update for August 2020 is ready to share. And I'm going to start giving you the knowledge about the real estate market. Right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, All Things Knoxville, with me. I'm Ben Barreto, a realtor and relocation expert from Coldwell Banker Wallace here in East Tennessee. If you're landing here for the first time, I make videos like this every single week, and they're all about Knoxville, Tennessee, and the surrounding counties, things to do, as well as real estate tips for buying, selling, and investing. But most of all, I make videos about the people and about the area. And if you think you might like videos like this, and you need them in your life, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then share this video it's an easy gesture to do on your part, yet it does so much for me. And those that I can help through my reach out by getting this video out there. So today I wanted to give you the monthly real estate numbers for the country and then locally here in Knoxville. But first, let's start broad. Let's start with the United States as a whole. So across the entire country, we have seen home value growth in the double digits for the first time since 2017. Homes continue to sell hyper fast from, and it's more than likely due from the pent up uh, need from the lockdown. Nationally, the inventory of homes for sale decreased by 36.4% and that's year over year since or from August of the year before. That's a faster rate of decline compared to the 32.6% in July. This amounted to a loss of 493,000 homes listings compared to August of last year. The count of newly listed properties in August also decreased by 11.8% since last year. While still well below last year's levels, the rate of decline in newly listed properties has improved from a peak decline of 44.1% year over year in April and then a decline of 13.4% last month. Housing inventory in the 50 largest U.S. metros overall declined by 38.1% from August of last year. This is an acceleration compared to the 34.8% year-over-year decline in July. Among those 50 largest metros, the markets in the West have seen the greatest improvement in newly listed properties, uh, now only down by 3% year-over-year compared to the 6.6% in the Northeastern metros uh, and the 14.4% in the Southern metros and then the 18% in the Midwestern metros. Homes for sale in August were being scooped up more quickly than last year as pent up buyer demand continues to fuel a hot late summer housing market. The typical home spent 56 days on the market nationally in August, which is five days fewer than August of last year. In the 50 largest U.S. metros, the typical home spent about 45 days on the market and homes spent seven days less on the market on average compared to August of last year. The median national home listing price grew by 10.1% year over year to a new high of $350,000 in August. This is the first time the market has seen a double digit year over year growth since 2017. This is an acceleration from the 8.5% year over year growth seen in July. The nation's median listing price per square foot also grew by 11.9% year over year, an acceleration from 9.5% growth seen last month. Listing prices in the nation's largest metros grew by an average of 8.9% compared to last year, an increase from 7.8% year over year seen last month. Among the largest 50 metros, prices are increasing most in the northeastern markets where they are growing at an average rate of 12.4% a year compared to a growth rate of 10.8% for Midwestern metros, 8.8% um, for Western metros, and 6.5% for Southern metros. So that's it for the national numbers and, and what, the, what the nation looks like. So now let's get locally into the Knoxville real estate market. Active listings. This August, we had 43% fewer listings than we had in August of last year. That's only 50% less. Even so far in September, listings are down in a, by 
11%. So what that means is if you want to sell, if you want to get your money out of your home, now is the time. If your home's in decent condition, if it's priced fairly, it is going to sell guaranteed. Close listings. The number of homes sold is almost identical to last August and it's lower than it was in July. Does that mean there's a market shift? Maybe. As I said before, I think shift a shift is coming. I don't think it's going to be this year since we're still breaking records. It's not coming anytime soon. But the clock is ticking and that window of opportunity is closing. Month of supply. We held steady from July to August. So even though we had fewer listings, we also had fewer closings. So there wasn't much of a change. In some ways, that's not a bad thing. We, we're at too low of a number right now and we don't want to see that fall any further. Staying steady is better right now than than seeing a continued decrease. Average sales price. New MLS record of $286,000. That's a 15% increase from last year. There are a lot of people probably really glad they bought a home in the last couple of years because it turned out to be an amazing investment. Thankfully, interest rates are still at record lows. So this is keeping affordability in check, but there will come a time when buyers will decide to wait and see if prices will come down. Luckily, we're not there yet. Sales pending. This actually ticked up over last month. And in fact, we set another MLS record for homes put under contract. 3,700 homes claimed by buyers in August. And while we had 43% fewer listings, we had 43% more contracts written. How does that happen? Average days on market. Now, not much has changed over the past several months here. And it's starting to look more, it's starting to look more similar to last year. As I said last time, I don't think this number will move very much because it can't, as it just takes time to get to the closing table. I've heard reports that banks are feeling the strain to close on time due to volume. So that number might actually get bigger showing after a slight increase in July the number of showings went down in August as mentioned in the information about the number of closed listings perhaps we're seeing things return to a more regular pace as August of this year has nearly been identical to last year listen as you can see not much has changed in in the Knoxville market uh, it, nationally things are getting better I will tell you that this growth for homes will not last though. I, I do think it might make it through 2021, but it's definitely not going to make it beyond that. We're getting to a point where home buyers just can't afford to buy houses anymore. And we're quickly pushing more and more people out of the market. Homes are just starting to become too much for s many people and uh, they're starting to drop out of the market. If So if you are looking to buy or sell, and especially if you're looking to sell, now is the time. I can help you get your home sold and in a new into a new one without you losing out or ending up homeless and in a rush. Let's talk about it. Give me a call. I'd be happy to help you out. In the meantime, check out this video from last week where I took a short ride around Loudoun County and just kind of showed you what, what rural Tennessee looks like. Thanks so much for watching today's video and this month's real estate market update for August. Have a great day.